What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And this past week a lot of good tweaks have come out, so I wanted to go ahead and share those with you guys so you can be up to date with all the jailbreak tweaks that have been released. So let's go ahead and get started. The first tweak that I want to talk to you guys about is called Brevity. Now what this tweak does is add a shortcut to your Messages app. So you can see right here if I go ahead and open up my Messages app, you'll notice that the Send button actually says OK. So what this does is you don't have to type in anything. You can just tap on the button and it says OK. Now this is something that you can actually set up within your settings so you can customize what this button says. So I'll show you that right now. So let's jump into our brevity settings here. And right here is where you can type out your macro. So your macro is basically just something that you use over and over and over that you don't ever change. So something like OK. So maybe it's I'll see you later. I'll see you later. And of course it can be whatever you want. Now right here we can toggle on the long shortcut preview. Now this is basically just going to type out that in a very dim text right there in the text box and I'll show you that here in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and save the settings and let's go into our messages app once again. And you can see right here it says I'll see you later right here very dim right there in the text box. You'll also notice that it doesn't fit in that small area so it just has the dot 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 or the ellipses but if we go ahead and just tap on that then it's going to automatically say I'll see you later now we can of course just type something in and it's going to send exactly just what we type in and it's not going to add on to that macro or anything like that so if this is something that you've been looking for you can definitely check this out in Cydia right now next up we have a tweet called MusiX and what this tweet does is give you your music controls in a very different way so you can see right here all you have to do is set up an activator gesture for this and what I've set it up for is just a swipe up on the left side so you can see that I have my Coldplay music playing in the background so you get a little banner right here and it's actually a little bit transparent so you can see that we have the name of the song playing as well as the artist and then you also have your scrubber right here right over here is where you're going to see your album art cover now there's a few things you can set up within this tweak basically setting up either standard controls or gesture controls so right now I actually have gesture controls configured and you can see if I swipe over to the left it's going to automatically go to the next song so again if I do that again it's going to go to the next song again tapping that's going to pause it tapping again will play one thing you can't do with the gesture controls is shuffle or repeat or anything like that so you will have to set up standard controls in order to do that so if we jump into our settings here and we'll just swipe that away and we're gonna scroll down here to MusiX and we're gonna open that up and you can tap on the settings here now again like I said you do have the standard and the gesture controls so we're gonna set this to standard and very quickly we'll go through the toggles here we have always artwork so if you toggle that on it's always going to pull the artwork right down here you disable the notification center when your MusiX tweak is active so that basically allows you to not accidentally pull down the notification center when you're messing with your tweak right there so if we go back here and right here you also have a theme so if you tap on these you can see there's a dark theme a light theme and then a custom theme which is going to take these colors into consideration so we'll just see what this color does right here and then we're going to activate this and you can see that we have a purple background with green text now if we swipe to the left that's where you're going to see all your standard music controls and now you have your repeat as well as your shuffle right here so this is not a bad tweak if you guys are looking for something a little bit different for your music controls next up we have a tweak called quick replier for Skype now this is actually a pretty expensive tweak in my opinion for what it does it's actually an add-on for Coria which is another quick reply tweak which is free that you can download in Cydia right now and you do have to actually make sure that you download Coria in order for this tweak to work because it doesn't automatically install Coria when you download quick replier for Skype so having said all that let me go ahead and send myself a message through Skype and you can see right here if we tap on that banner it's going to automatically load up Skype so we have a quick reply for Skype and you can obviously either type in a message and send that you have the option to add a photo you can close it or you can tap on the little Skype button right there and it's going to open up the application so you have full control so a very convenient application if you're a big user of Skype next up we have a tweet called sticky banners and it does exactly what you think it do it makes those banners sticky 
So if you get a notification and you have banners enabled, you can see right here that I got a banner notification and it's not going to dismiss itself until I dismiss it manually. And that's what sticky banners does. So if you usually get a notification right here and then it's scrolling through and it doesn't actually finish scrolling through or you didn't have time to read it before it dismisses itself, maybe this is a tweak that you want to check out. Now, of course, you will have to dismiss it manually anytime you want that banner to go away. But you can download this free in Cydia right now. Next up, we have a free tweak called Control Center iOS 8. So if you saw my last iOS 8 video for iOS 8 Beta 4, then you noticed that we got a brand new Control Center for iOS 8. So that's exactly what this does. It does a pretty good job of trying to mimic the iOS 8 style Control Center. Now it doesn't do a great job just because we still have the uh, separators right here, as well as it's not separated by the different blurs so if you saw my iOS 8 video you kind of know what I'm talking about but there's a darker blur for each section so it would be a light blur a dark blur a light blur a dark blur a light blur so that's just kind of how it's all set up but you can see right here it didn't really do that but it still does a pretty nice job on the toggles as well as the quick launch applications down here and I'm actually a fan so definitely check this out this is a free tweak here we have another free tweak that's called power tap and you can see right here if we hold down our power button you can see that I can slide the power off right here but if I wanted to do something different maybe restart respring or boot into safe mode you can do that all with power tap so if I just tap on the little knob right here you can see I can slide to reboot another tap is going to slide to respring and then one more tap is going to allow us to slide into safe mode so this is a nice tweak and it's built in beautifully into the already existing power down option in iOS 7 so you can see right here one more tap is going to go back to power off so definitely check this free tweak out and lastly we have a tweak called smart search so if you guys haven't heard of smart search what it's going to let you do is access some more features right there in your spotlight so you can see right up here that we have some applications and glyphs right here that says search your iPhone if we tap right here it says search the App Store you can search Google Spotify the movie database and you can swipe over here you also have Wikipedia YouTube as well as iTunes store so let's just go over here and let's say that we were going to look for Angry Birds in the App Store so we're just gonna type in Angry Birds here and then you can see that it pops up right here so if we just tap on that it's gonna automatically launch the App Store and allow us to download an application so again if we go back to the uh, springboard here and we swipe down now let's say we were going to search for something in Spotify so let's say we're gonna look for Eminem we'll tap search and you can see right here we go ahead and open that up and it's going to automatically launch Spotify and search for Marshall Mathers LP right here. So that's basically what this tweet can do. It allows you to easily search specific applications that you have installed on your device. And if it doesn't have it installed on your device, then it's going to automatically launch Safari for that search. So let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. Hopefully there's at least one or two that you guys are going to try out. Let me know which tweaks you are going to download in the comments below as well. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.